guys. For this video series, I want to talk about jars. Um, a jar is a form that has a lid, usually a vertical form with a lid. Um, this is an example that I'll be trimming um, for the later part of this demonstration. You can see it's divided up into some different um, shapes. So we have a sphere and a cylinder, or a slightly conical cylinder, and then a really sharp cone at the top. So that might be like a little bit hard to understand what I'm talking about when I'm pointing at this pot. So I've broken it up for you into a drawing. So here you can see this part here, this sphere, correlates to this volume here, right? So you can see if you think about this rounded part as a fully formed um, like sphere or ovoid shape, it sort of starts to help you to um, like conceptualize that pots are are like geometric forms that are intersecting and once you realize that you can start to uh, kind of play with the relationships between the geometric shapes and like where they touch each other and what I mean by that is if this is like an ovoid form here and this is a cylinder this cylinder here is touching this oval form at this place so you can make this cylinder touch this oval form anywhere you want by changing its diameter and raising or lowering it, right? So like this cylinder here could be here, and that would really change what the piece looks like. So that's um, that's kind of what I'm going for here. So I've made a, another drawing, or paper cutout, of our pot, which is fairly similar to our pot, hopefully. Um, and you can sort of see that this is, um, that this is like a fairly accurate profile uh, made from this. But what these are are just folded pieces of paper that are cut um, to create a contour. So I'm going to do that for you now. Okay, so what I'd like to show you now is how to make one of these paper cutouts. Um, I find these kind of profile drawings really useful because they allow you to um, kind of see how the shapes um, that compose a form uh, kind of interact with each other visually. Um, it's really useful. You can cut these out of like black paper if you want to and glue them into your white sketchbook or the opposite, you know, things like that. So it's like really useful to make these silhouettes. So I just want to show you how to do this really quickly. It's really simple. It's just a folded piece of paper. Um, and you draw using like the half line, the half line like this, and then you just draw a couple horizontal lines and it really starts to look like something. So just really quickly, I've sketched out this piece on this piece of paper and I'm just going to draw it and cut it out for you. So, so there we have our new profile. Now I'm just going to cut this out of the piece of paper. So this technique is so useful because it allows you to get a perfectly symmetrical image of a pot. Um, so you really kind of get the sense of what it's going to look like by following this simple templating method rather than um, trying to sketch out a pot which is like really difficult to do um, to do a perfectly symmetrical drawing of a pot. So this way you just unfold your piece of paper and you have a really nice like image that you can you know tack on the wall and and really start to kind of examine the proportions and things like that. I find it's helpful to draw a couple of these horizontal lines, like where the lid will meet the body of the pot and where um, different areas, like anywhere there's a strong horizontal change in the form. Um, it's really useful. It's a way to uh, think about proportion. So, okay. Um, I think we're ready to move on to the potter's wheel.